My name's Alan Hart and today I'm going to do a video on how to fix a radiator. So if you've got one radiator on your central heating system that's not working, I'm going to do a video today, or this video today, is to show you how to get it working again. I've also got a thermal imaging camera so I can show you the, the radiators. Obviously you will not be able to feel the radiators in my video so I thought if I use the thermal imaging camera I can show you um, so yeah let's uh, let's have a look so I've got the thermal imaging camera here and if we have a look on that we can see at the moment we've only got one of the radiators working we can see the pipe work is getting warm so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to open the valves on the rest of them radiators and then we'll see if they're all working. The first thing I'm going to do is make sure that all the radiator valves are open. So this is the TRV, this is the thermostatic radiator valve. Now we could see in the video with a the thermal imaging camera, this one is warm and this one is working. And then if we go to the next radiator, so obviously this would be in a different room. At the moment, we can see that this one is on zero and it's turned off. So if we open that one up and then now that's open, we would need to leave that for a while. And then if we go to the next radiator, again, that might be in another room and that one's turned off. So we're gonna turn that one on. And again, in this one, and then what we're going to do, we're going to wait now a few minutes and we're going to see if they all get warm. There could be a number of reasons why your radiator is not working or one of the radiators is not working. So now we've opened all the valves. This radiator here, this one is working fine. This one down here, again, this one's working fine. And when we go over to this one, this one is working as well. And we've just got one radiator here that is cold. So I'm going to show you now a few ways to um, remedy um, to remedy that. So if we just have a look on the thermal imaging camera, we can see the bottom two radiators. They're working fine. And then when we go up to the top, we can see... The top one is working there, but when we go over to this one here, we can see, it's a bit awkward to show you there, but you can see that that's not, that one's not getting warm. It could be that your radiator has just got air in the radiator and you may need to bleed the radiator. I will add a link below on how to bleed a radiator and also what to look out for when you are bleeding a radiator as well. Um, but if you do need to bleed the radiator, you just need to get a cloth or a jug and just bleed it until the water comes out of the top. On this particular one, this is fine. It's, um, it's full of water and that's not the issue. So let's have a look now closely at the radiator. When we look at the radiator, it could be that the lock shield on this radiator, on the central heating radiator, could be this lock shield here, is turned off. Or it could also be that on the thermostatic radiator valve, the pin on the bottom, uh, the pin under here is stuck as well. It could also be other reasons. It could also be that the system is sludged up or you could have an airlock and I'll show you how to clear an airlock as well. But first of all, we'll take the top off on the thermostatic radiator valve. Now, it would depend on the type of valve, but on this one, you can undo this fitting here. I'll just get a spanner. Sometimes you can just open that to number five and you'll be able to just undo that. Oh, I can undo it. Um, and sometimes it might be a bit tight and you might have to undo it. You might need to get a set of grips like that. And what you can sometimes find is that these pins here are stuck down. I do 
see people say about pulling pulling these pins up I'd be a little bit careful with that what I try and do is my my view is try and push them down just try and free them up and it might be that you can just gently tap it with hammer and I have seen other videos that say not to do that but that's my that's my view if you gently tap it with the hammer just gently you don't want to damage the top of it and you just want to free you just want to free that valve up or that pin up on there but we can see that that one's working fine so the next thing to check then if we go to the lock shield and on the lock shield take the top off take the cap off on the lock shield valve and then we just need to make sure that this part of the valve is open and we can just get a spanner on there or a set of grips and we'll just turn that I'll just zoom into that and just show you so to open this valve you just put your spanner on and you just turn it anti-clockwise and anti-clockwise is opening the valve if you turn it the other way if you turn it clockwise that is turning the valve off so what we've done now we've checked we've checked the TRV we've made sure that it's not stuck down and we've also opened the lock shield and now what I'm gonna do is I'll get the thermal imaging camera again and I'll show you the radiator and then after that I'm also going to show you how to clear an airlock so if the system's airlocked I'm going to show you how how you might be able to do that as well so we can see there now that all the radiators are working if we actually see that one on the top on the top left we can see that it's a little bit cooler at the top so that's probably got some air in that so now we know so now we know the problem with this radiator was the lock shield wasn't open fully but it could have been the lock shield it could have been the trv also it could be air in the radiator and it could also need um it could have an airlock so what we'll do now we'll have a look at an airlock and how to clear an airlock So now I'm going to show you how to hopefully clear an airlock. This will not always work because it depends on the type of system and it depends how it's piped and it also it might be that you've got bypass somewhere, um, but it normally will work. So let's say for instance this radiator here is not working, then what we can do if we go around all the heating system, all the rest of the radiators and if we close all the radiators off on all the heating system so you've been around all the system now it might be that you've got eight radiators and you've turned them all off if any of them haven't got a thermostat on then you can turn them off on the lock shield and again with that if you're going to turn them off we would turn them clockwise yeah clockwise to turn them off and then obviously to turn them back on after we turn them anti-clockwise you may need to also balance the system then after that i'll try and do a video about balancing um, so now we've made sure that all the radiators are turned off and then the one radiator here that wasn't working we've made sure that the the lock shield on the central heating radiator we've made sure the lock shield is fully open we've made sure that the thermostatic radiator is is fully open the thermostat side and we've made sure the pin isn't stuck and we've bled it so we've done all them things and then now the flow from the pump of the boiler will hopefully only be able to go around this one radiator so that should clear this radiator for you it, it could be other reasons so if if the bottom of the radiators on all the system if they're cold and the tops of the radiators are warm it may be that the system needs power flushing and that's a that's another um a different job really um but that's it really for this video so that's how to how to fix 
one central heating radiator that's not working. I hope that this video has been of some use. If you've got any questions, please ask them in the comments below and I'll try my best to answer any questions that, that you've got. If you could click up here somewhere, or it might be this side, and subscribe, I'd be very grateful. And don't forget to ring the bell so that you get notifications as well. Thanks for watching.